I would say the primary emotion I associate with my inner teenager is anger. And for me, uh, my dad was a rageaholic, okay? But he was also in Al-Anon. <laughs> and so, you know, he found Al-Anon when I was about eight. And so there was, I grew up in a family where there was this fear of anger sort of coming out, I think is what was going on. It was my dad's fear of his own anger, but it translated into the whole family. We don't, like anger, we don't express anger. So I swallowed my anger. And so for me, my inner, my, my actual teenager was the best little boy in the world, was the family hero, um, performance, achievement, uh, all of that stuff. And my um, inner teenager that I'm getting to discover, um, I would say is two parts. One is anger. And I've connected into an anger with my parents that I forgot that I even had, particularly my dad. Um, but I can also, so it's interesting, I'll, I'll give a little anecdote on anger and my inner teenager. So as I've been doing this work, I was doing um, volunteerism with WSO and I was working on a number of projects and I kept bumping up, bumping heads with, uh, I won't say who it was, but someone who is in charge of a lot of stuff, right? And um, we kept bumping heads and, but we had enough that we would circle back, we'd talk about it or whatever. And he said, he goes, Lou, he goes, wow, you really have a lot of anger issues. And for me, I was like, what are you talking about? I, I was Lou the nice guy. Lou never gets angry. I never had an argument in a relationship, right? And But all of a sudden, when I was doing my ACA work, it just opened up. And I just realized it was this powder keg, this almost explosion waiting to happen, right? And my the way I describe my inner teenager is someone's about to step on my toes, and my inner teenager is going to come out with a flamethrower and just torch everything, right? It's just that highly reactive highly energized you stepped on my toes you got in my way and so you know the loving parent guidebook talks about the importance of identity the importance of boundaries the important this is you this is me don't cross this line carving out my own space in the world having my own voice my own sense of autonomy these are to me um, needs that are focused around an inner teenager so it talks about the inner teenager being a protector of of the inner child, which is an interesting, I don't know, it always works that way in my understanding, but it's interesting. But it is sort of my inner teenager is in charge of, of keeping my sense of vulnerability away, right? And so anytime that I feel vulnerable, someone's walking over me, someone has more power than me, this inner teenager energy arises and it can just come out very strong, right? So the anger for me is one. The other one that I would say is I started, um, I, I came out at the, at the conference, but I started an ACA meeting specifically for gay men. And this was a powerful meeting because my, my teenage experience was also closeted. So um, there was a rumor when I was in junior high school, about 13, to say, oh, Lou is gay, Lou is gay. And it was terrifying, right? This is the 1980s in the US, AIDS epidemic, the Christian right was very religious was was all and so it was a very scary time and here I was 13 years old I'm like oh my gosh I think this might be me right and um and so at junior high school these kids came up like we we think you're gay are you gay and it was the most terrifying thing in the world and I said this is never going to happen again right I never want to be suspected and my family moved two months later to another state in the United States and I vowed this is never going to happen again so my I have teenager energy that is also closeted and locked down and, and terrified. And so that has also been for me, teenager energy, sexual energy or attraction energy, affection energy, right? And that also has to do with authenticity. This is who I am. This is the truth of who I am. And the fear is if I bring that truth to the world, I will not be loved, right? Or, or worse, I will be harmed. So having my truth come out, and for me, this is the context, but I think for all of us, what is my truth and how do I bring that out into the world? Like that's, that's teenager energy, that's inner teenager energy. So these are the areas I think um, that have been the, the biggest focus for me around my teenager 